It's a pretty good setup if I can get into it. Alright, stuff up there can't see me yet. It's gonna hear me pretty soon. I'm gonna try to make the turn to the right so I can see which gun store we're dealing with. I uh, can't quite tell from that tiny, tiny little taste. I think that's the one that has an ATM and. Eh, I need a better look. Oh crap, here they all come again. Uh, Alright, speed up and go through. Even if it's noisy. Oh, I see another ambulance right outside the gun store. <laughs> Why are they all they all running straight at me? They shouldn't all be running straight at me like that. Hmm. Unless they're responding to a noise behind me. Slow the hell down, game! That is the... Oh, god dang it. That's that stupid blockaded one again. Two out of the three have been the useless gun stores. Thanks, game. I didn't get a look inside the baskets of the ambulance here to see if it's got any goodies I want. I don't think on this one... Nah, it's not worth stopping. Yes, I'll take care of that bite. Don't don't get too excitable. <laughs> uh, more runners coming. I need to loop the block here. I need to just literally do a loop and then come back around the other way. I just wanted a peek at the gun store, but now I'm kind of committed to this crazy direction. Oh, Fox, get out of the way, Fox. I need to siphon gas from that other truck. Let's see. I gotta line this up right. Right? Nope. Wrong. Go away, Fox. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> That's the exact place I did not need you. Uh, I was trying to line it up so I could open the door and siphon gas through the wing mirror, you know, because they've got those siphon hoses through the wing mirror. But no, I had to get a stupid runner right in between. I'm driving a security van. This is a security van. Uh, and another wreck, another ambulance. This one wrecked. But with goodies. Wrecked with one basket of goodies. Fox, I'm really trying not to run you over, but you're making it... Alright, now I'm getting... If one of these guys hitchhikes, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, Another ambulance. What the hell? <laughs> what is with all the ambulances all of a sudden? So many of the ambuli. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That, uh, that there's a problem. I had a real hard time with roadblocks today, too. That breathing noise is me being out of stamina. I can't make it go away until I can find a place where I can stop driving <laughs> for a little bit. Our stamina is down just far enough that it's giving me the heavy breathing noise as a warning. Good warning, but there are occasions like now where I can't stop to uh, rest to get rid of that breathing noise. So, my apologies for the uh, heavy breathing. And, yeah, this... I think I can squeeze by that southern spot. I'd love to stop out and check all these ambulances, but I just don't think it's worth the danger. Every time I get out of the vehicle, I'm really putting myself at risk. Need to... Alright, now we're, we're, we are got our, our spot. And another fire truck. That's what, the third, fourth of the big fire trucks? Usually they're a little harder to come across. Alright, I got to make the turn right here. I cannot go straight forward because there's no way to continue if I do. So, down we go. No, no tools on this side, and the broken part let me see through the far side, so there weren't any tools there either. Oh my goodness, a, cl a clean, clean part of road. All right, let's stop here for a second. So we regained enough stamina to get the uh, the noise to go away at least. Uh, turn off the headlights. I'm going to leave the engine running. We're going to go ahead and get our bitten arm taken care of. But earlier, we turned diagonally and a zombie was able to get into the nook and, and bite my arm. So the blue indicates that we've got a deep bite wound. It will turn into a full infection if we're not careful. So, uh, 
The funny thing is, you can take antibiotics, and I believe it instantly goes away with antibiotics. <laughs> um, but I don't want to double up on antibiotics. I got plenty of antiseptic, so we'll use that. There you go. Problem solved. 95% chance antiseptic cleaned out the wound, so it's no longer a deep bite problem. And our pain is still holding at 9. This is what I'm looking right here. So my base move, or my current speed is 88 because uh, the pain is dropping my percent. I don't want to take another painkiller quite yet. I did want to drop some more clothing. I didn't want to actually put it in this basket. I wanted to drop it on the sidewalk, but I don't want to get out of the vehicle either. What do we got in the basket right now? 15 out of 68 liters. All right, we got space. Let's ditch the, uh, the blazer and the dress shirt. They're not doing anything for me. That gets our torso encumbrance down to 23. Much, much happier number. So if we need to go full katana ninjutsu mode, this is the kind of number I'm looking for. 23 torso encumbrance. Our arms are fine and our hands are lightly encumbered with a, a pair of tack gloves. Unfitted tack gloves. Not the best, but that's that's manageable. So, that's all better. We got all that fixed. Um, we still have no food or hydration secured. That's my biggest worry about leaving the town. I don't have any supplies sitting around. We're going to need several days, likely, to get rid of this infection. For the moment, though, it's kind of moot. Let's keep moving. And there's another. I think that one I knew about. Yeah, that one I knew about. Cause that's in front of that gun store that I, I no longer like. It sure seems like they're seeing me now. Wondering what changed that all of a sudden they're seeing me back behind these lights. They didn't before. They weren't reacting at all. But now they seem, as soon as I shine the headlights on them, no, they're not seeing me. They're not coming this way. Looks like we got another wasp apocalypse going on over there. Wasps are busy killing everything for me. Oh, severely injured. He's going to go down soon. He's taking some zombies with him. All right. A nice, healthy chunk of diesel gas out of a vehicle would be pretty cool. Uh, there's actually no zombies around me right now, but unfortunately, there's also no buildings I care about. Oh, see, there's another another security van. Let's try the same thing. We're going to try to squeeze by and line up my, my door with the wing mirror. One more to the south. All right, now that I've seen everything I need to see, we're going to turn off the headlights. Guarantee we don't get anything catching our attention from that. Get the headlamp or the... Ah, zombie dog. <laughs> Damn you, zombie dog. Now it knows I'm here. Ugh. <laughs> Just one or two spaces different spacing, and I would have been fine. Dare I risk it. That is so annoying. So annoying. Ugh. Got to the exact right spot. Last second. Zombie dog. So the danger is he's going to break the window and get into the vehicle with me, which is really bad. Both from a zombie dog in the vehicle with me and from a broken window standpoint. Because that's another thing that'll let hitchhikers easily step in. And if I try to step across and do a bunch of siphoning for gas... He's going to have lots of time to break that window and get in. How much of the gas? 5.6. I don't anticipate that many more opportunities. Um... Offering some cookies. Nah, unfortunately, this is, uh, this is a different grade of zombie dog here. Man, I really want that gas. Plus, if I get into the basket over there, I might have a, another weapon I can use. I could back up and then roll forward again and try to smush the zombie dog, but it's likely to make noise. It'll draw more attention. And the engine noise is already probably drawing attention. And there might be stuff behind me, <laughs> following me. So many mites, so many maybes. How's the how's the window looking at? 
pretty damaged. Pretty damaged. So is the steel frame and the uh, plating of the frame. Damn it. Just one space difference, we would have been fine. I want them at least in a different spot. I think I am going to back up. Let's turn the headlights back on. I'm going to back up. Got a pretty clear route ahead of me. Oh, and another zombie shows up. <laughs> you bastards. And then a third zombie shows up. I see. Worm can't have nice things. I understand. I can't go to the other side because there's a scooter in the, or a bicycle on the sidewalk. I wouldn't be able to easily maneuver around. Yeah, they're definitely following me now. Whoops. Eh, we are running over stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Try to take them out, but it's going to do damage to the vehicle and it's going to make noise. We changed the geometry enough. I think I'm. they're losing track of me now. They're heading back. If they can't see me. They're in exactly the wrong place. Damn it. Try the other side. Problem here is I can't see this way. They're likely to, uh, that's where they're likely to come in. If I'm in the door when they get to here, I won't be able to get the door closed before they step in. Uh, I can't risk it. <clears throat> I wanted to. I can't risk it. Too dangerous. If I was bingo on fuel, I would. I would take the chance. Oh man, how much longer are we going to be deaf from that stupid thing? Oh, there's one of the rarest <laughs> vehicles in the game. Yes, it's the mythical ice cream truck! <laughs> hey, ice cream truck. How you doing, man? You got your little mini freezers rolling, do you? Get some ice cream in there. See another couple of vehicles there, so we're going to have to take the low road if we keep going west, and I don't really have a choice. We got a gun store just on the other side of this basketball park. And of course, I would like to get a look at it. Worst case, we go down and I make the turn and come across. That'll still be areas we haven't been to. And we can get out again, or we go straight and then come down. So. Or we, uh, we pop that manhole cover and we scurry down into the sewers and we take our chances down with the chuds and the sewer on us. Uh, I can already see the gun store is that other design I hate. <laughs> Four gun stores. There's like five different gun store designs. We've seen the two I hate the most. The two most useless versions have been all four gun stores we've taken a look at. Yikes. Again, no nice things for Vorm. All right, scooters. Let's point south at least. Limousine and another broken... I'm not sure if that was a cop car. I don't think that was an ambulance. Nope. Nothing good, so no reason to change direction, I think. We'll head down to the next intersection and then go... Hmm, preferably south. Could go either way. Oh, we have another pawn shop. I forgot. Didn't realize. Please don't hit the scooter. Don't hit the scooter. Please don't hit the car. <laughs> I didn't quite get a look inside the pawn shop when I had the option there. Uh, what are we seeing? A tragedy novel. What do you think the chances are? Last time we found a katana sitting on a shelf. Unfortunately, a replica. Nobody in front of me. I got clear road. I think I'm going to stop. We're going to try to take a look, even though I got stuff following me. We're very hungry again, are we? Hmm. We didn't pick up any food. 
I hate being deaf. Painkiller is still in effect. Oh, that's right. I set off the alarm. And we can't hear the alarm, even though it's 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 busy going off. Army pants that are a poor fit, and some cowboy boots, and that's it. That's it, other than a clock or a watch. Gold watch, tramadol, antifungal. And an M1911, 45 caliber, 6 out of 7 shot. Let's uh, make our way out the back instead of the front. These things are following me to the front. <laughs> yeah, that would be exactly why I didn't go out the front. Useless. Don't. Ooh, a bike shop. Oh man, do I check the bike shop? Really want to check the bike shop. I'm going to try to check the bike shop. If we can get a folding bike to take with me, that would be really useful. Here's a mountain bike. I like mountain bikes, because they don't have baskets, so they can't have hitchhikers. Frame's pretty much busted. That's also not a foldable. Not a foldable. <laughs> it's not foldable, I don't care. We might get tools in here, too. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. 25% drop rate. We might get a bunch of empty shelves. Hey, I need some fruit. I'll have some. Oh, I'm sick at the moment. All right, fine. I'll take it with me. Next time I'm not nauseous, I'll I'll eat my bratwurst. Whole bunch of nothing. Pretty sure this is the roof. Yeah, thing on the roof. Uh, back down we. Go. So yeah, whole bunch of nothing. Bike shop is a bust. Don't care. Houses, I actually probably should hit houses if I've got the opportunity. The shop and the restaurant might have food supplies also. Let's first see if we can get back to our vehicle. Didn't pick up much compared to my weight capacity and my carry limit. Um... Oh, Nazi went away. Nazi went away. Let's really quickly have some uh, fruit. Some brat. Hello, India. Yeah, I'm glad you're able to catch a, uh, a live stream. This was an exciting one. <laughs> Lots of opportunities to watch me die horribly. Something's banging on my vehicle, which I'm not thrilled about. I think I'm going to move it. There's too much noise in the area with the alarms going off. But I think I'll... I'll relocate it before we get swarmed. It's anticipation of danger that is a large part of my success and uh, being able to do the things I do. It's uh, knowing... Oh, SWAT truck! SWAT truck! <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Which I'm sure you know. SWAT truck! Could have gas. Could be drivable. Would have SWAT armor and weaponry inside. Lots of possibles. I have to turn anyway. South is as good as north. Hmm. How did Vormi spend the first day with the sunlight out and all? Vormi didn't. <laughs> Vormi started the scenario at uh, at uh, 10 p.m. in the dark because <laughs> Vormi's not an idiot. Vormi knows it would have been instant death had he gone outside in the light with these world settings. So I planned ahead. We turn the scenario to uh, start at 10 p.m. All right, zombies, I need you to leave me alone along just enough so I can check this SWAT truck. I need to be adjacent to it so I can siphon gas. I only need a little tiny bit of adjacent. Oh, that's... That's enough, but it's not as close as I want it to be. I'm going to have zombies near me, which is going to be a problem. 
path ahead is clear, clear-ish, clear adjacent. Alright, I realize every time I step out of my vehicle, it's a very real danger of me dying a horrible death. Due to the speed of all the enemies. Now, the thing with the SWAT truck is that you can get in and out from three different directions, or four different directions. Door, opening, door, door, door. Lots of ways in and out of SWAT trucks, so I like it for that reason. It's great for tactical escapes from enemies, because you can go in one way and out you know, a whole bunch of other directions. This one's damaged, so zombies can get in and out pretty easily, too, at the moment. And it's still going to take a lot of movement points, so i got to be careful clambering into this thing. There's definitely zombie activity back there. And I don't have my normal ability to distract away the zombies like I usually do. So. What could happen is I could step to this play position. And as soon as I do, it takes me so many movement points, something in the vehicle already steps here and hits me multiple times while I'm trying to scramble into the driver's seat. Let's check its status first. Oh, look at all that beautiful, beautiful diesel. Though it's got no wheels, can't go anywhere. It was good otherwise. Broken security, which is great. Has uh, an engine with no fault, which is great. Has lots of gas and perfect gas tanks. Has nah, no battery charge either. So lack of wheels and lack of battery means it ain't going anywhere. But uh, it does have 15 liters of diesel. Which is actually the more important consideration for me. So I'm going to get that first. See if anything comes at me while I'm trying to siphon. Uh-oh. Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> so, how much did we get? Uh, we only got a couple liters, so we're up to 7.3. Hmm. They're banging on my vehicle. So, it's either hop back in my vehicle, move a bit, try to get the geometry changed up. Because I absolutely cannot just attract a zombie attention and then uh, move away. That's, that's not... A tool I have available to me like I usually do. Uh, I want the gas, which means if I move my vehicle, I have to re, I have to move it again to get it back in position. I want to check what's in there, but I need to make sure I get back in my vehicle before other attention shows up. One thing I'm deciding here is, do I just get in my vehicle now and move it? Or do I let them bang on the vehicle like they're doing? They're not going to do much to these side, uh, the steel plating and such on the sides. I could walk around and check to see if I can get into this, this side quietly. Check it, and then get back out again. They haven't detected me yet, but my scent cloud, which, hey, let's highlight the scent mechanics again. There's my scent cloud. They're about to get a whiff. <laughs> uh, Ten is about the break point, I've been told. So, currently that one and one on top of those two zombies, it's too light. The scent is not strong enough yet for them to detect me. So, if I move away, they likely won't detect me, and they'll just sit there and occasionally hit my vehicle. I think that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to take the risk. I don't think anything's coming down this side of my vehicle yet, so I'm going to... I'm going to move away. Oh, he stepped down towards me. That's not good. All right, now yeah, they're they're definitely chasing my scent now. <laughs> I see one item in that seat. I'd like to know if there's others so I can better gauge the risk versus reward here. And there's a zombie dead center. <laughs> so far, three of the seats have stuff. Oh, you had to be right in the middle. I could get a little distance and then blow my whistle, but I don't think the whistle's going to overcome the noise they're making themselves, and it would just end up attracting other zombies into the scrum. Maybe we'll go take a look in the house real quick while wow, nothing's directly chasing me. Supposedly that zombie there can detect me directly. I don't know how he's being allowed to do that. That's four spaces away with a diagonal, which is technically like 4.75 or whatever away. <laughs> so I'm not sure why he's actively detecting me right now. I'm scurrying around with ninjutsu, not making any noise. He can't see me from that range. He shouldn't be able to hear me from that range. And my scent cloud wouldn't have penetrated the vehicle, I don't think. Yeah. But I don't know why that guy all of a sudden gets to know I'm here. That's 
Eh, you, you just kind of kind of shrug and move on. But there's no reasonable way that guy would know I, I, I just stepped into this space. It's not actually a bad thing for me if he comes directly towards me. Because I can go into that house and circle around, and then he'll get out of the vehicle, hopefully. So, I'm going to stay in place where I'm at for a second, see if he does come directly towards me. Zombie struggles to stand. Yep, he knows I'm here. Alright, he shouldn't. <laughs> but I want him out of the vehicle anyway. Now all of a sudden he can't again. Now all of a sudden he can again. I don't know. A little weird. Not allowing him to right there. Alright, come on attempting to pry. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Make me burn stamina. Alright, this part's going to suck. because Well, he's going to have to step into the window too. I think this will be a neutral. Back to walk mode. So they're all faster than me now. So i got to be super, super cautious about movements. Oh, crap. He's going to make noise. Guys to the south are coming. I would not mind scurrying downstairs, but I'm going to avoid that with them being able to chase me. But we're going to get a door between us. I'm going to go out this other window and circle back around. I want to find out if this, this bike works. We might have to use that as an escape. And eh, the wheel's gone. I don't think that'll work. Let's see if we can check the back of this. I'm worried the noise has kept zombies over here and is going to prevent me from checking this. God dang it! <laughs> Why? Why, zombies? Why? <sighs> around and around we go. Hmm. Why you no let, let Barmerthrax have his funds? So we're up to, uh, what? One, two, three, four of the uh, seats. Are now confirmed to have gear. So there's probably going to be at least weapons, possibly SWAT armor. Top car north of me. Somebody's still messing with my vehicle. I need him to step out of that before I take off running. All right, he's out. Luckily, he's one of the slowest zombies. I still don't trust my ability to outrun him, though. I think I'm going to try to sprint past him, get in, check the stuff, and then go out the front. But I'm, I'm hearing noises over here that's really concerning me. i got to be careful of my stamina burn. Could also go through the cop car north of me. Lose him that way. Let's, let's do that. We don't see anything else. Alright, we've got to start running now because i got to make sure I have enough to get in and then out again. Ho 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 ho! Why yes, I think I will take that Kevlar vest in the random cup car. No wheels, not going anywhere. All right, out the far side. That's enough for the scent trail to keep him from coming after me for a little bit. Oh crap! That's what I didn't need. Damn it! Uh... I cut southwest right now. I might be able to thread the gap between the two, the zombie dog and the fat zombie. I don't know for sure where the fat zombie is. I may or may not get his attention immediately. They've got better, I think, hearing and smell. Oh, getting a little crowded in here. All right, Mr. Fat Zombie. Is the door still functional? I believe it is. It is still functional. So if I get the door closed, I can get them shut out behind me. Then the danger is something else being inside or coming in from this side while I try to scurry my way in, grab whatever I want, and then get out the front. There might also have zombies. Oh, crap. Gotta be going fast enough to make sure I go... Like that. Alright, five out of six. What do you think we're gonna get? 
a lot of a lot of careful hopping around. Suppressor M1014 with three rounds, an H and K. Not a big fan of nine mil anything. Shotgun's okay, but I'm not gonna find a lot of shells. I love it. Waste shotgun bandolier if you ever do find a lot of shells. And I'm not even going to bother taking the Ruger. Too odd in ammo. We'll take the uh, the shotgun, we'll take the bandolier, we'll take the suppressor. And I think the rest I'm going to ignore. Alright, can I get out this thing? Finish siphoning and then get moving? That would be optimal. I'm not sure if siphoning costs makes sound. Ooh, is it drawing all the gas out of both tanks? No, it's not. Hmm. Stop banging on my vehicle. This will give me enough gas that I won't worry about our exit, though. This is the last time we'll need to do this. All right, there we go. We got it siphoned. Let's hop in the drive, or the passenger side. And we didn't get hit. Successful run. Got everything we wanted. And a few extras. We got a Kevlar vest. I might take off the thing I'm wearing now for the Kevlar. Okay, where are we going? Oh, subway. Oh, I forgot I need to get into a subway. That is pretty important. See if we can get around this corner without attracting any attention. Get, take a quick trip into the sub. Alright, it's a good spot. We didn't get any attention that I know about. We didn't go very far, so they might still be following me, those guys that were banging on the vehicle earlier. I gotta stop the engine, otherwise they'll definitely come visiting. Uh, let's ditch these for the moment. We'll pick them up later or sort things out later for now. We're gonna drop all of this. I'll keep the shotgun for emergencies. Yep, they were behind me. Damn it. Yeah, I gotta take the risk. I need to take a look inside the subway. If I get lucky, and there's... Oh, I don't have any cash cards yet, do I? I don't have any cash cards yet. Should have stopped at some of the dead zombies that other things killed and grabbed some cash cards. If I get lucky and there's nothing down here... There's something down here. Still might be able to get lucky. If I can get into that side room, we might get a toolbox. A 25% item spawn rate. Well, on toolbox. Oh, oh, oh. Give me toolbox. I am out of here. See, this game's so easy. <laughs> you just gotta know where everything's at, in all the buildings, and all their configurations, <laughs> and then you go get it. See? As easy as stopping by your local subway station, grab yourself a toolbox. Got all the tools. And all it took was a few points of damage off the uh, steel plating of my van. All right, the tool problem is fixed. Now it's mostly get some food supplies and hole up somewhere. So the idea was to get out of town. The overwhelming population in town is the dangerous part. This section up here, we got all these endpoints. So the hope is that we can uh, drive out of town, find an endpoint that's like a farm or uh, element. Well, element we shelters won't be at the endpoints, but a farm or. Horse Ranch, anything that's got a low or no zombie population count and has a little bit of food, because <laughs> I don't have any food with me, I could starve for a while. I'm not going to die before the infection thing is resolved uh, if we don't eat. We, it takes quite a long time to get any negative effects from no food, but um, I need at least some hydration at, at a minimum. So I need a water source of some kind, preferably that won't make me sick. So we do need to solve that. I can't take a chance of just leaving town without any hope of getting that and hoping on uh, what, what locations we run into in the dark. So if we get a spot somewhere between here and the exit of town, <laughs> there's a grocery store, a bookstore. If it's nice and quiet, I might hop out and try to do a little bit of looting. 
Just pray we uh, we don't catch anything's attention that can catch me. See, there's the these guys spotted me again, or are coming directly at me. I don't think this the engine's making that much noise. I'm getting really sporadic behavior from these things. So right now, I'm not seeing much ahead of me. So this would be a good opportunity if we can just park right up here. I can hit these houses and the grocery store. Looking pretty clean. Not a lot of vehicles for me to use as safe points. I don't want to get too much closer to those guys. I think right here. What the hell? <laughs> Something from the east crashed into me? Something was chasing me faster than I was driving? <laughs> God dang it. It's 150% speed on the zombies. is just messing with me. Uh, they move faster than 8 miles per hour, apparently. I think, was I doing 8 or 4 there? I'm not sure. They definitely move faster than 4. I think they're moving faster than 8, even. Um, so I think the last gun store in this entire town, the only one we haven't checked, is this one right here in front of the, uh, the hospital. And I'm not going down there. I wanted to hop out and check the grocery store real quick, even if I could just grab some gallon jugs to hold the liquids. I also still don't have any fire sources, except for one lighter with two charges. So I need to hit a few spots, ideally. A couple of houses and uh, the grocery store would probably do it. But I need a lighter or some matches, um, so we have our fire secured. I can always make a brazier or something if I need to for, for safe flame containment. Um, yeah, I really need a bail. I don't like that there's something behind me already. But there's nothing else nearby that it will attract attention if it sits there and pounds on my car, so I think I'm going to let it. Um, door open, door closed. The eternal question. In this situation, door closed is more important. The time I save, or the time I lose having to open it on my return is better than uh, what I lose if a zombie happens to have wandered in while I was gone. So, Alright, let's go get a shopping cart and uh, grab some groceries. Without the shopping cart part. Oh, crap. I only got 11. Eh, I should have thrown on some more backpacks. <laughs> Maybe I will grab a grocery cart. How you looking? No casters? Nah, I don't want screeching noises while I'm trying to drive or walk around the grocery store. All right, you'll work. Come here, you. Go get some groceries. Uh, sure, sure, sure. It's all calories. Well, not all calories. Pine nuts, microwave burritos. That under the hood. Give me under the hood. No pop it. Mechanics. And okay. No uh no medicine on the on the shelf this time. Here's the gallon jug I need. Of milk even. Cool, that'll work. Eh, I guess I'll take eggs. Oh yeah, I should be dropping this stuff into the basket. <laughs> Not carrying it with me. I'm gonna keep this. Into the basket, please. Showing me the basket again. I hate that. What do you got? Take uh, uh sports drink, lemonade, cheap wine, sure. Gallon jug. At least worth something. Oh, chocolate covered pretzels. Got to have those. All right, I'm tired of the other problem. <laughs> uh, well, that doesn't work either because it's counting the basket. God dang it. It's, I forgot how irritating it is to try this with a basket because it keeps shifting position as you move around. My basket skills are rusty. Cake! The cake is a lie! 
Ah, oatmeal cake. Oatmeal. Yeah, sure. What I need is raw calories just to make sure I've got what oh meat pizzas. Make sure I've got what I need for uh holding up for a few days. After that it's not really big. Well dried rice is pretty good. Oh yeah, this is uh here. Your... Might be enough all by itself. Bit of a mix of uh, healthy and not. Alright, anything else? Not gonna go. Yeah, that's pretty much it. See if we can get this into our truck with a minimal of fuss. Are they still around? Are they still banging on stuff? How much stuff is it? 37. I've got 19 space. Uh, like shifting stuff around bulk in this circumstance. So, we're going to do it anyway. Shift to there, but on the ground. All of that stuff. Then we're going to in the vehicle going to shift again from on the ground into the vehicle basket. How much is it? Uh, got, what, 41 available, 19 on the ground, so it should all fit. Alright, that's why I did it that way. So, we got a basket full of stuff. There we go. Alright, uh, that's a decent amount of calories, and we got some milk. We can drink that down first before it goes bad, and then we can empty it out. And we've got at least a minimum of, um, didn't I pick up some bottles? Yeah, we got some bottles. The worst case, I can just clean water a couple of times. Uh, let's go ahead and get moving. we got too much tension here. Risk management. It's all about... <laughs> it's all about roadblocks <laughs> on the one uh, almost the only way out of town that, that's what it's really about it's about side by side by side vehicles <laughs> blocking your movement path so all I guess the sidewalk to the north four spaces is not enough I'd have to take the southern route and I'd have to squeeze right by there and take up the entire sidewalk so anything in the path is going to have to uh, get smushed or I have to go around. I have to do a little side trip. Let's try looking south first. Oops, going too fast. No real danger that way. They have moved a little bit. I'm going too slow though, and I'm not liking that matchup. All right, we're gonna keep going south. Pray we don't have a worse situation this way. Look at all these guys running around. What's with all you guys? They're not... can't be coming to me. Not from that range. So this is the back side of the hospital. There's the dining area I mentioned. This is the kitchen area. This is a hallway to a mid-hallway. But the place I like to go into the hospital at is way down this wall, right in the middle of this wall. There's a single wooden door, leads to a small hallway, and there's a long north-south corridor, and all the rooms to each side of it are patient recovery rooms. You can get a fair amount of medical gear there, with the least amount of danger for a hospital. <laughs> Hospitals are just bad all the way around, but that's the place where you can get the most with the least amount of danger. So many runners. I gotta make a northern turn here no matter what. Alright, going this way. Scoot just around the outside of them. Slow down. Make the turn. A little NASCAR weaving here. And I need to get to the left past that bike. 
speed and turn angles. Man, it takes a lot of a lot of practice doing this to do some of these turns without smacking into all sorts of things. Oh, another SWAT truck. Oh, you're teasing me, you're teasing me, you're teasing me. <laughs> right on the other side of that roadblock. Um, a house with what? A hard chest guard and an MP3 player? Hmm. I like the looks of the intersection. It's just so far got this hazardous waste zombie. Well, you know, except for this other zombie I just smashed into. And all the noise I'm making now. <laughs> From north and below, you hear metal screeching. Really? Alright, let's make the turn for... Oh, crap. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you once again going to roadblock my way out of town? I do not believe this. <laughs> I've had this happen so many times lately. Oh my goodness. That is the only corner I can take to get out of town. <laughs> That's the only way to that road. Chances are very, very, very slim that I'll be able to work my way through any gaps up here unless there happens to be an open field space. And right on that corner intersection, we got multiple vehicle pile up. And I don't think I can make that corner vehicle here is going to extend at least to here. So I would have to be... I don't know if I can make that angle. The problem with these turns is that the vehicle tends to pivot in huge arcs, 90 degree arcs. So you make this little tiny turn and the whole vehicle goes whoop over this weird angle. And if there's anything remotely in the space of that angle it's about to swing into, you get blocked. So, trying to make turns around angles like this is really, really tough. I'd probably have to come in way low down here. Is there anything blocking me down there? So I got this vehicle here. I'd have to come in as low and close to the vehicle as I can and basically turn 90 degrees straight north and then just make little incremental turns to the side here as I was able to. Because otherwise, if I come at it from this way, the angles are too tough. I wouldn't be able to get forward enough that when I tried to turn, as soon as I tried to turn, the side of my vehicle would ratchet right into this wall. So, the approach angles are critical when you're trying to do this kind of maneuvering. And if you do it at low speed, which you have to, to minimize the amount of the, the, the swing that the vehicle performs for each action, then you're, you're in the... you have the problem of zombies being in the area and nearby, and slowing you down, stopping your turn, all that kind of stuff. So, guaranteed house, guaranteed house, another SWAT truck. <laughs> is, this, is this where the SWAT team lives? And they park their vehicles out on the streets? <laughs> there's, there's two SWAT trucks pretty much inside of each other. And a do no, that's not a dojo, that's a, what a bakery or a butchery, butcher shop. Huh. What I'm, what I'm contemplating, I know the route I need to take to get out. I'm contemplating stopping briefly, checking the SWAT trucks, or trying to check the SWAT trucks, and then can I get back to my vehicle safely? Right now, the angle's bad. I'm at an angle I need to turn up before I smack into the side of this car. That's going to cause a problem, because I, I can't get adjacent to this. It, it, it's just going to be hard for me to get the angles I need. I'm wondering. Let's see. Yeah, this, this is going to be ugly. This is just going to be ugly. Hey there, Vinny the Bro. Thanks very much for the Prime sub. How to do this? Do I bail out of the vehicle temporarily? Just check the SWAT trucks before we head on out. We, we're still pretty light on ammo. I just don't know. Oh, man. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to make the, the heavy turn actually end up facing north. Try to stop the vehicle kind of midpoint between the SWAT trucks. That way I'll have lots of uh, houses to run to, vehicles to run to if I need to. And then maybe the zombie geometry at least will have changed when I try to make my, my escape. 
So let's keep this turn swiveling. Plus, apparently we have a lab near us. That's going to change things as well. Because they're going to react to the noises, and they're going to sit on the pavement above where the guns are firing. I'm trying to think of how I want to orient the vehicle there. I could drive up alongside here, pointing north-south, then turn the engine off in the hopes that I can make a swivel, or do I make the turn first? It'd be safer to make the turn first. Get in position so I'm aiming the direction I can move. Because I know I've got a clear area at the moment. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's try to get over as far as we can. They're coming towards the gunfire, I think, not necessarily my vehicle. <laughs> Uh, now he's chasing my vehicle. So I can see three things, three seats that are full of gear up in the uh, SWAT truck. I'm not going to try to get my vehicle adjacent for gas. We've got enough. Right now I just want to get it swiveled around without too much of a problem. Alright, this is not ideal. <laughs> um... Do a complete circle. That doesn't work real well. I think I'm going to keep pointed south, where I have an escape path. I might have to do some circles or some weird maneuvers, but I think I'll keep that. Stop the vehicle. I think the, the turrets are firing right below me, which is bad. Yeah. What's going to suck is I'm going to get to this point. We've survived for <laughs> six, seven hours. This ridiculous difficulty. We've got what we need to, to, to survive, and I'm gonna die <laughs> one block from escaping town. Let's see. I'm gonna wait a second, see what happens here. So that happened. Before I move, I'm gonna take a quick break. Be right back. Alright. Uh, I need to know where the gunfire is coming from. I have a sneaking feeling I'm sitting. <laughs> I parked the vehicle right on top of where that turret's firing. And if that's the case, we don't want to park here. Because it's going to draw zombies directly to our vehicle. If it's somewhere else, I'm comfortable leaving it here. I'll go out the other door and I'll leave this stupid zombie right next to me. So I'm going to wait here for a short bit and see what happens. See if that turret fires and I can locate where the noise is at. <laughs> oh, that's way too close. That's way too close. Crap. Um, I do not have a lot of maneuvering here. Yeah, I'm sitting right on top of all that noise. That is terrible. Alright, I... Yeah. <laughs> That's even worse. And I think this is going to go horribly, horribly awry. But we're going to try it. Fast forward. Or slow forward, as the case may be. Let's see. So I need to get as south as I can before I do a hard swivel to the north. I'm going to slow down so we can cut the angles of the turn. Now I need to gauge this, this swivel to the north and pray that there is nothing blocking me. <laughs> as I try to make this angle. Alright, we got to make this turn pretty quick. Oh man. Oh man. It's going to be close. And we got four zombies between me and there, which means I have to speed up, which is going to cut down on my ability to make adjustments. So I got to speed up. I got to get as far forward as I can before I try to swivel to the right. Come on, engine. Come on. Don't fail me now. This close to being out of town. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Such weird swivels. 
Go truck, go. We're on. We're we're, we're no longer hitting the, the the side of the building. Stupid cop, get off my front grill. There you go. <laughs> oh, a Humvee. Oh, please tell me it's a working Humvee that I can transfer into. That would be such a nice Christmas present. Please, 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 please. No controls. <laughs> no Humvee for Vormithrax. Alright, so left hand turn. Last chance for a roadblock game. You gonna keep me from escaping the city? You are not gonna keep me from escaping the city. <laughs> did you see that one swivel that it did? When I was trying to get around the corner there? I got hung up on the edge of the building, so I swiveled and it pointed me directly at the vehicle, almost flush. Then I told it to swivel to the right again, and all of a sudden we were pointing out this way. <laughs> That's exactly what I feared was those those huge arcs that it swivels in. Bit of a miracle we actually made it through there. <laughs> all right, look at this. Free road. Oh, and then I hit a zombie, of course. He's going to knock out my engine, and we're going to get conked out right here. <laughs> More turret fire. Ah, the open road. And the turrets underneath. There we go. Ta-da! We escaped the city. Now we need to find a place to shack up. One of these endpoints, hopefully. So now the next thing I expect is for me to drive right into a 50 cal roadblock and take a 50 cal through the front windshield and uh, right into my, my eyeball. That's what I'm anticipating. Alright, let's kick the speed up. Let's see, 20 liters of gas, we're good there, we're good there, vehicle's in okay shape, front end's taking some beatings, we're still driving around with only three wheels, which really shocks me, thought I'd be having a little bit more problem controlling it. Uh, we got some food, we got some hydration to get me through a day or two at least, and uh, we've got antibiotics in our system. 122, so we've been infected for 3 hours and 22 minutes and 30 seconds. We took the antibiotics, I can't remember when. Two hours in? Was it midnight? I forget exactly when. I think this is a central laboratory. I think we got a central lab underneath us. If we continue to hear gunshots at this range, yeah, we're still hearing them. Oh, this is absolutely a central lab. So there's a central lab complex under this town. <laughs> we started hearing gunfire... It was... Where were we? Was there, the hospital was there. I never made it up this road. It was somewhere in here we started hearing gunfire. And if we're still hearing it over here, there's a central lab complex underneath this city right around here. So somewhere in these woods out here is going to be a, a manhole cover entering into the, uh, the central lab complex. The Big Daddy. We're not going into that place. Oh, no, thank you. Alright, what do I hope to find on the roads? Body sights? Body sights? Lucky body sights. It'd have to be right on the road for me to spot it, probably. No roadblocks would be nice. That is just a field, I think, with a silo. I don't think there's a farmhouse attached to this one. We're not going to stop at this one. It's not the kind of spot I'm looking for. It's going to be a, what, a dirt road. Yeah. Is that a house down there? Yeah, that it does have a house. Hmm. 